What's up, y'all? I'm Naisha Nicole, and welcome to or back to Time to Queen. Today, I'm going to be sharing a recipe with you guys that I have fallen in love with. If you're like me and you're a queen on the go and you don't have a lot of time to be standing over the stove, but you still need some quick, easy, cheap meals that are still healthy, this recipe is going to be exactly what you're looking for. I recently started eating spaghetti squash and I've heard of it before but I don't like squash. And so originally I was like, eh, no. But I'm trying to be a little bit healthier and smarter about my eating habits and trying this keto thing again. I was successful before with keto, so I'm gonna try it out again. And this recipe, well, the spaghetti squash, only has 5.5 net carbs. So it is the perfect alternative to pasta. If you're familiar with spaghetti squash, the insides do look like spaghetti, somewhat noodles. But it's a great recipe for if you just need something quick. It doesn't take a long time to prepare or cook. So let's go ahead and get into it. What you're going to need, you're going to need some seasoning. You're going to need some olive oil, shrimp. Bacon. I prefer thick slice, but you can use any type of bacon. And of course, your spaghetti squash. Okay, so to start off with, I'm just going to cut my spaghetti squash in half. I did go ahead and rinse off the outside of it, but I don't eat this part anyway. So, like I said, it doesn't really matter. Um, probably not using the right knife. However, I'm not a chef. I just know how to cook. So... If this isn't a right knife, forgive me, but it's what I got. So, um, spaghetti squash is not the easiest thing to cut. Um, it's kind of like cutting a watermelon, so not the easiest. I'm going to go ahead and do this uh, just in case I stab myself. I don't want that to be on camera, so. Okay. Yeah, you really got to put your back into it when you're cutting this joker, like... And that's what it looks like on the inside. So this is what it looks like on the inside once we get it cut out. I'm gonna go ahead and scrape all of this out and be right back. I just use a spoon to scrape out the seeds and everything. Okay, so once I get all the innards out of the squash, I'm going to take my EVOO and just drizzle a little bit. Uh, I'll put it in this pan and I just covered the pan with some aluminum foil, some nonstick aluminum foil, um, just because I don't like washing dishes <laughs> and it makes it easier. For cleanup, you don't have to do that if you don't want to, but you do need to put it in a pan or probably will work best on a cookie sheet, but I don't have one. So here we are. But I'm just, um, I just drizzled some olive oil on here and I'm just uh, rubbing it into the squash insides. Just coating that with the olive oil. The pan is a little bit too small for this squash is huge, but here we are. And I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven to 400 degrees. Get that started. Okay, while my oven is heating up, I'm going to go ahead and season my squash. And I am one of those people, like, I don't measure when I cook. And I don't always use the same exact seasoning. You can season this to your taste. I just use some accent seasoning, minced garlic, some minced onions, some Italian seasoning, a little black pepper, 
if you know, you know, and some adobo. And then I'm going to actually flip these over so that they are face down. Flip them over like that. And then you can use a fork. I'm going to use the same knife that I cut them with. And you just want to perforate them. Please be careful. Don't stab yourself. In case you were wondering, I did not stab myself while I was cutting it in half. Just in case you were wondering, you know. This is just to allow it to cook all the way through fully. Being that it was face down. And then I'm going to pop this in the oven for about 30, 35 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes and this is what it's looking like so far. I'm going to um, flip these with the face uh, up and put them back in the oven for another 15 minutes. Okay, so while that is um, cooking for another 15 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and cook the rest of everything else. Some bacon here. I'm going to go ahead and get my burner on. I'm just going to chop this bacon up. <clears throat> into about half inch pieces. And I'm gonna put that in the frying pan. And that's the good thing about keto is that you can have bacon. So I'm gonna let that cook down, get nice and crispy. Like I wish y'all could smell the things that I'm smelling right now because the seasoning on the squash and the smell of the bacon, oh my God, y'all, it smells so good in here. I'm about to tear this up. Okay, while that's cooking down, I'm going to go ahead and rinse off my shrimp. Okay, so that's pretty much perfect. Yes, see that nice, crispy brown color? It's almost fully cooked. I'm going to go ahead and add in my shrimp. And you notice I didn't drain any of the grease from the bacon. Like I want the shrimp to soak up all that flavor. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of seasoning. I'm gonna add some adobo, soul food seasoning. Again, if you know, you know. If you don't, now you do. Act accordingly. And again, you use whatever type of meat you want. If you don't eat like seafood, if you're allergic to seafood, again, you can use chicken, you can use sausage, you can use no meat. I have, I actually eat the spaghetti squash by itself um, without any meat in it. I'm making sure that those shrimp cook evenly. If you're not used to cooking shrimp or seafood, um, you can tell it's done. You don't want it to get rubbery, but you do want it to have like a nice pink color like that. See that nice pink color there? Um, like this isn't quite done yet. It's getting there. And then you saw how gray they were when I first put them in, so... I'm sure most of you are used to cooking shrimp, but just for those who aren't, those are things that you need to be looking for. If you cook them too long, they will get like a rubbery and that won't be good. Okay, now I'm gonna take the squash out of the oven. Yeah, 
Look at that. Oh my God. This is about to be bomb. Okay. So you can leave the squash in the skin and just eat it out of the skin of the bowl if you want to. Or you can actually scrape it out. See how that looks like noodles? This is the perfect substitute for all my pasta lovers on keto. Just take your fork and just scrape it out. You can mix up the seasoning, the part that's got the season on it, it'll be nice and crispy. So I'm just gonna take some, put it on my plate. Take some of the shrimp and the bacon, top it off. And put in my bacon. And there we go. Simple, easy, delicious spaghetti squash, shrimp, and bacon meal. And again, it's keto friendly. It's Atkins friendly. You can use any type of meat that you want um, to your taste buds. But it is one of my favorite keto dishes. And it's super quick, super easy, super affordable. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like and a comment down in the comment section. Share it with all your friends and family who might be on keto too. And until next time, it's time to clean y'all.